morning, everyone. Welcome back to our anatomy class here at the Richmond Center, the ARC. Um, let's see, let's do a little quick review, recap. Last week, we did a class about our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. This week, we are going to be reviewing, uh, let's see, we're going to be reviewing our hands, our rib cage, and our hips. What they are, and what we need them for. Let's see. Let's start off with our hands. Amy, do you know how many fingers do we have? Do I have ten? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Okay. I got ten. You have ten. Amy, that was an easy one. Let's oh, see. Okay. Do you know what this finger is called? This is called it's a pinky. Good job. Hey, Amy. By any chance, do you know what this finger is called? Is this is the one that we put rings? Yes, it is. Hey, Amy, do you know what finger this is called? Um, to that index finger. Cool. Mm, oh. No, middle finger. That is our middle finger. And like Amy said, this is our index finger. Awesome. Now, do we know what finger these are called? Thumbs. Good job, Amy. Thank you, Sandra. Now, next we're gonna be going over our ribs. Ribs are very important because they protect our lungs and our hearts. Now, by any chance, Amy, do you know how many ribs we have? I guess we have 24 ribs. Good job, Amy. Awesome, thank you. And last but not least, we are gonna be going over our hips. <laughs> uh, Amy, can you guess what we use our hips for? Hip is good for walking. Mm -hmm. Seating. Good job. Squat. Good job. Is there anything else? Mm, how about running? We need oh them. yes, running. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I forgot about it, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you for reminding me. No problem. Thank you guys for joining us on this weekly review of our human anatomy. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, guys.